Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of fundamentals of IoT, in short FIOT. In today's class, we are going to study life cycle model of the sensor cloud service. Okay. So we, in the previous sessions, we have already seen, right? So a basic cloud or a sensor cloud is nothing but an virtual uh, virtual uh, space or a memory, okay, or a storage through which the sensor data is stored and the end users will be using that particular data okay so for all these things the instances will be created in the cloud and these instances will be used by the end users right so before creating the service instances within the sensor cloud infrastructure there will be some sort of preparation phase okay so this preparation phase will be including uh following cases the first one is preparing of IT resources. IT resources in the sense, processors, storage, disk, memory, etc. Okay. And not only that, we also need to prepare the physical sensor devices. That means a hardware uh, sensor devices, which are connected to this particular cloud where the data is stored. Okay. And along with that, we also need to uh, prepare the service templates. So, Preparation of the IT resources like uh, disk memory and storage processor, all those things. Second one is the prepare, uh, preparing the physical sensor devices like sensors. And the third one is the, and the third one is the preparing of the service templates. Okay. So, so once the templates, once the uh, sensors are ready and once the cloud is prepared, okay. So the users of the sensors can select the appropriate service template such that the request will be sent to the instances, okay? So these service instances, uh, they also provide uh, automatically and freely to the users based on the usage. Suppose those instances are not in use, okay? They will be quickly can be deleted, okay? So to keep it simple, we need IT resources need to be prepared physical sensor devices need to be prepared and service templates need to be prepared. Whenever an end user want to use this particular uh, sensor cloud, okay, using the templates, instances will be allotted to that particular user and the user uses that particular data, okay? And once the usage by the end user has been done, the instances will be quickly deleted, okay? Now let's see the diagram with respect to that. So, this is a uh, life cycle uh, development with respect to the service sensor cloud. So, let's see one by one. So, preparing IT resources and sensor devices. So, IT resources means it can be processor, it can be a storage element or some sort of memory or disk or anything, okay, as we have already said. Next comes preparing service template to create instances okay so based on the type of the sensors or the based on the type of the data templates will be created through which the user can access that particular data okay now once the templates are created next comes the users will be requesting the service instances okay so the next phase is users requesting the service instances once the request is accepted then goes to the next phase that is the service instances will be utilized by the user, okay? So once the uh, instances has been utilized, as I've already said, unregistering or the deletion of the, or the deleting of the service instances will be done. Once the instances are used and no more, uh, no more in use, okay? So this can be deleted. And once the instances are deleted or unregistered, Obviously, the service template or the physical services or the physical sensors can also be get into unregistered. So, this is a complete service lifecycle development, okay? And with this, all this lifecycle development, there will be an user interface via web, okay? Through which the uh, end users will be uh, communicating with the sensors, okay? So, how means? With the help of this particular web, the user or the user interface, the end users can monitor the data, automate that particular data and also use the data for controlling something. So it can be 
uh, data from the sensors can control some sort of actuators. To uh, give an example, based on a sensor, a light or a motor can be on and off, okay, somewhat like that, okay. So this is a, a small example I'm taking. So this is a life cycle process, okay, will be uh, taking place in the complete uh, sensor cloud infrastructure. And all this process will be uh, will be helpful for the end user to uh, use this particular data through the web. Okay, so user interface through via web. Okay, so what this particular end user can do means he can monitor, he can automate the data, and he can also control using that particular sensor data. Okay, so all this data can be achieved from the virtual sensor group. Virtual sensor group can be considered as a virtual storage where all the physical sensor data is stored in it okay so n number of physical sensor data are there those data are stored in virtual sensor group this data will be accessed by a end users and they can using that data they can monitor automate as well as control anything according to their applications and at the background this is the whole cycle which is going on takes pla uh, taking place in the sensor cloud service life cycle model mm -hmm.